I'm going to do it. I was like, I had like a gut feeling. This was like the first time I made like a big decision for myself. Uh, I did my first solo when I was seven. It was a musical theater solo. Like musical theater was my thing when I was younger. I did not thrive in that environment. <laughs> What made you audition for OSHA? I honestly don't even know if I could answer that. What year, like, at OSHA did you move to Pro 21? And then how did you, like, audition, all of that? Okay, this is your third year. Yes. What has been your, like... Okay, I'll ask you two questions. Okay. You're, like, one of your favorite memories, like, over. Okay. And then what is your favorite group you've ever done at Pro 21? Like, it's crazy. We only have, like, one regionals left. One And regional. I feel like... Like, it doesn't feel like it's time to let go of it yet. Yeah. But what would you rate this experience? There's, like, good parts about it. Like, getting, like, the, like, validation. Okay, yeah. Like, I guess submitting it is what makes it all worth it. Like, you you feel so proud of yourself. Yeah. But, huh, I don't know. Yeah. Definitely so, below a 5 but, out of 10. But Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your... Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode 29 of Stop Talking Kens. I have a very long awaited guest with me today, Sammy Chung. Okay, basically, when like my mom and I made the original list of like who was gonna be on the podcast, Sammy was <laughs> on the original list, okay? And we probably had like eight people on this original list. Like she was before Loyla, not to be rude, but like, <laughs> and then I've, oh, I've been telling her this for like, Two a long months. time. <laughs> but then I just like, we'd like talk about it in person and then never like. We'd never get to it. Yeah. So finally, finally, this is very long awaited and I'm very excited. I feel like it's good we waited because yeah. now we can like talk about like college, exactly. like all of that. Like we have more stuff to talk about and it's yeah. like the end of the season. Like, it's so maybe it's like, yeah, everything happens for a reason. Okay. Let's just start in the beginning. Like okay. how did you get into dance to begin with? Okay. So I started dancing because my family... We were kind of like a soccer family before I started doing really? dance, right? Yeah, my older sister is a really good soccer player. And my dad, he's really big on sports too. So he was like na just natural for like, okay, let's put Sammy in yeah. soccer too. I did not thrive in that environment. <laughs> I'm not an outdoorsy person. Um, I would cry before the game started just because of the heat. Like oh. it just, yeah, it wasn't working for me. So <laughs> it was kind of like, okay, let's put Sammy in dance to see if like this is more. Yeah, like her element. Yeah, her element, <laughs> right? So I started when I was four just recreational and I don't even remember what the first class was but I do remember my first recital and I just loved it like I love being on stage I love the costumes yeah. and the makeup yeah so then that's when my parents knew they're like okay dance is her thing yeah not yeah. soccer like we'll we'll give that up <laughs> yeah yeah so for like a little bit you did both soccer and dance yeah I actually did both soccer and dance for kind of a while because I think like my dad just wanted to see like okay if we just go one more season like, like maybe she'll, maybe start she'll like it. it yeah maybe it'll click but that just never happened like there's this thing with soccer where like you could freeze your players for the next season like they do it to the really good players right that would happen to my sister every year and you would never get frozen. never never to me <laughs> and I was like mom why am I not getting frozen she's like uh, I don't know like she's like it's okay we'll just try again but then I realized like okay no I'm just gonna stick with dance yeah okay did was your sister like did she go to college for soccer? She didn't, know, But, oh. like, she did it, like, all through high school? Yeah, she was she was really good. But you didn't get the same jeans? No, I didn't get the same jeans. <laughs> Very <okay>. different. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when did you, like, seriously, like, start dancing? Like, competitions? Like, all of that? Um, I start. Okay, I started competing when I was five, but it wasn't really, like... Like, car. It, it wasn't intense competition at all. Like, I would do, like, two dances, and it was, like, a little hip-hop dance and, like, a little baby jazz. But... Um, I got more serious with comp dance when I was like 10. That's when I started going to conventions and mm -hmm. stuff. And we were in the mini room together. Yeah. Like that I was... distinctly remember. No, like I, I remember you being at my videos. first convention ever. But yeah, I would say, yeah. About Do you 10. remember your first ever solo that you did? Yeah, I did my first solo when I was seven. It was a musical theater solo. Like musical theater was my thing when I was younger. And it was <laughs> so why isn't your senior solo <laughs> musical theater? I don't know. I guess things have changed. But like... <laughs> Yeah, it was like the feathers and the bright costume, rhinestones and everything. The that was facial. like my thing. Yeah. The facials. Big facials always. Big facials. Yeah. So not only do Sammy and I go to Prop 21 together, but we also go to school together. And we've yeah. gone to school together since seventh grade. Yeah. So since a very long year. time. Yeah. Wow. So what made you audition for OSHA? I honestly don't even know if I could answer that. Um. Okay. Honestly, I auditioned for OSHA because 
I kind of just had some older friends that were there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I kind of just have, like, heard about it. And yeah. then my mom was like, do you want to audition? And I was like, sure, like, why not? That's kind of just how m- my mentality was. And then I went to OSHA th- for the audition. I was actually really nervous for it. But Wait, then were once, we like, in the same audition? Yeah, we were. I, I mean. feel like everyone was in our Loyla audition. Was in our yeah, Loyla. yeah, we were in the same yeah. one. OSHA was, like, very popular, like, where, like, a lot of older kids went, and, like, a lot of people I was dancing with went to OSHA, so I feel like it was just, like, oh, like, this is, like, a really good school to go to, like, if you want to dance. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember we were at the same um, audition. Yeah. And we've managed to stay. Yeah. From senior. A lot of our original class is no longer there. Yeah. But there's, like, (laughs) there's, like, eight of us that are still there. Yeah. Me, Loyla, Sammy being three of them. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah. Okay, so OSHA, we get out at 4.45. It is a very rigorous, like, schedule, I'd say. And Sammy has talked about a lot of times. You can tell your stories, but (laughs) all of her all-nighters that she's pulled. Yeah, so many. So many. I've never experienced that, but Uh (laughs) she's taken a lot harder classes than I have, but it's fine. (laughs) Um, So how do you balance, like, going to a school like we do and then also going to Prod 21 with, like, the rigorous schedule? Yeah, so... I don't know. I feel like I'm only able to manage it because I'm like willing to sacrifice certain things like sleep, sleep, for example. And also just like I feel like having to balance those things has taught me a lot about how to just like keep myself organized Mm -hmm. in life in general. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's kind of been something that's progressed over time. Like as my classes have gotten harder, I've had to hone into my yeah um, like time management skills even more. So it's kind of just something that's progressed over time and I've kind of had to sorted out more and more along the way yeah what year like at OSHA did you move to Prod 21 and then how did you like audition all of that okay so I auditioned for season seven so your sophomore year sophomore year yeah um and it all happened because like it's actually a funny story because I went to the intensive at the Brea space and Loyla was also there and um she kind of we were just like hanging out together and she was telling me like oh I auditioned for P21 this year and I was like oh my god no way and she was like they're still doing private auditions if mm-hmm. you want to do it. And mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, no, I'm like a little too scared. Like I was too scared. I know. And something happened where Loyla was convincing enough to make me really Loyla think about being it. convincing. She was very convincing. <laughs> and I like thought about it. And then literally either that night or the night after I was like, I'm going to do it. I was like, I had like a gut feeling. This was like the first time I made like a big decision for myself. And I was like, mom, could you email Molly? Like, I want to do a private audition. She was like, what? No way. Because <laughs> I've always known about P21. I would watch their dances yeah, at comp. Yeah. And I would always tell my mom, like, oh, yeah, like, they're so good. Like, I could never be on, like, that kind of yeah. team with such, like, a high caliber. But then, so when I told her that, she was like, oh, wow, you really want to audition? And I was like, yeah, I think it's time for me to do this. And she was like, okay. But, yeah, that's how it started. And then I've just Been stayed. ever since. Yeah. I love how you said you made the decision for yourself yeah. because – I think it's important, like, now, like, I'm 18 and I have to make decisions by myself, but, like, being able to do that at a young age, like, know what you want and, like, go after it is, like, a really, like, important skill. Yeah. For sure. It's, like, trusting your gut. Like, yeah, trusting I've, your gut. Yeah, I've never really had something like that where I was, like, oh, I really feel like I should do this yeah. and following through with it. Yeah. So I think that was a really good moment for me. Yeah. If I didn't trust my gut and move out to California for my first year of Pro 21... I'd still be in Michigan, (laughs) and who knows what I'd be doing. That's crazy. Maybe not even dancing. Probably not, which is just crazy. Yeah. Okay, this is your third year. Yes. What has been your, like, okay, I'll ask you two questions. Okay. You're, like, one of your favorite memories, like, over. Okay. And then what is your favorite group you've ever done at Prod 21? Okay. Um, Memories... Okay, one thing I'm never going to forget, I'm sure you know what I'm about to say, is before Alien Superstar at it was crazy. Glendale. Yeah, at 24-7 Glendale, we were competing really late at night. So late. And we had like a two, three hour break before our last dance. And it was like, we were all getting like our energy and adrenaline built up all together <laughs> collectively. And it was, it was really so funny. So funny. Yeah. And then like, someone like ripped their thing. Yeah. Their like pants right before we were supposed to go on yeah. stage. Oh my God, that was so yeah. funny. Yeah. That was a crazy experience. I'll probably never forget it. I'll never forget it. And also, just, like, I don't think I'll ever forget, like, when we moved to the new space. Mm. Because that was, like, I don't know. I feel like when I think of the old space, I, like, remember, like, how nervous I was my first season. And then when I think about our, like, new studio space, I feel so much more comfortable. And I'm, like, So, like, with the new new studio, there's, like, a vibe change, too. Yeah. Because I feel like I just have, like, all the memories of, like, being new at the old space. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's, like, Prop 21 is a very different experience, like, throughout the years because you get more comfortable. And, like, even, like, 
last year being my first year back, like I feel so much better this season. Yeah. Like so much better. Yeah. But it's like the same like classes. Yeah. It's like, like not much has like, changed, but then like again, you a lot just has like changed. changed. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like feels so much better. So it just like progressively always gets better, I feel like. Yeah. And then favorite dances. Um I really liked Cell Block Tango mm. season seven and also the production season seven. And oh gosh, this year I really just love all our Molly dances. Like yeah. I love um break my soul yeah you don't love me in west end like i can't pick a favorite they're all those really three. good yeah this year like they're all so our good. dances slay this year yeah yeah those I are probably my agree. favorites are you are you gonna be sad like not competing anymore yeah i'm actually really sad i feel like i have like mixed emotions about it yeah because competing like is like seriously like so amazing and it's just like a feeling like you like cherish forever. Yeah, like I guess like. it's not like anything else. Yeah, you ever it's do not in like anything else. Like being on stage, I love being on stage. But then it's also just like I love watching people be on stage. Yeah, me too. So it's like I like the environment. Yeah, and I've just like done it for so long. You've done it for so long. Yeah. Like I just like feel like it's time for like the next chapter. Yeah, but it's also like so sad because I love being on stage. Yeah, like it's crazy. We only have like one regionals left, one and regional. I feel like. Like, it doesn't feel like it's time to let go of it yet. Like, I it's know, crazy. I know. But there's so many things that I'm, like, excited to move on from going into college. But, like, comp dance is something that I'm, like, I'm not ready to let go of it I yet. Know. But it's time. Yeah. Soon. Speaking of the future uh-huh. and college, mm-hmm. where are you going to college? And what are you going to do in college? <laughs> um, I'm going to UCLA as a dance major. Wow. And I hope to eventually pick up, like, a pre-med major in like biological sciences because wow. I do want to eventually go into the medical field. Okay, so Sammy and I applied to like, I'd say like oh, basically all the same schools, but like just for different things. Yeah. So like, it's like we had like different college experiences and mm-hmm. we'd like talk about it a lot like throughout the journey. Yeah. But like, what was like the college application process like? I feel like nothing can prepare you for it. Nothing can. Like if you just I'm, have to like you can't go sugarcoat it. No, and you just need to like dive in head first. Exactly. Yeah. So for me, like um, going into high school, I thought that I wanted to apply to college for a BFA major, like the whole time for and dance. I, yeah, for dance. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a BFA in dance, and those are the types of programs I'm gonna apply to. Mm-hmm. But then as the time came closer, like I told you, I want to go into the medical field yeah. eventually. Yeah. But I do want to keep dance in my life. Yeah. So I kind of had to be strategic about applying to schools where I can kind of keep both parts in my life. Yeah. So like UCLA, for example, is perfect for that because you could double major there. Easily. Yeah. And it's doable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like there's certain schools, like bigger programs in dance that I realize like, oh, I can't actually apply there because that's not going to set me up yeah. for where I want to be in the future. Yeah. So it was kind of just being strategic about showcasing both sides of myself academically yeah. and as an artist. So, for instance, Sammy got into NYU, too, but, like, mm-hmm. for, like, biology. biology. Yeah. So, like, she could be joining Loyola and I <laughs> in New York. The trio remains. She's, like, no. She's, like, <laughs> okay. So, basically, I have a story. Sammy was the person with me when I opened my NYU. Yeah. Like, Loyola was, <laughs> so it was, like, our co block. So, it's, like, we're together in class. And yeah. um, Loyola was in Korea. She's yeah. still in Korea. So, I haven't even seen her since, yeah. like, we're literally roommates. But um, Sammy was with me and, like, like, a couple hours before, she's like, Kenzo, you okay? Like, yeah, because, like, NYU was, like, going to be released that day. They sent email. Like, it was very known that it was going to be released at this time yeah. on this day. And I was just like, I'm like, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. Like, I was not fine. I was not fine that whole week. No, she, was like, so, she was so quiet that day. I was like, oh, my God. She's, she's Yeah, nervous. I was so quiet. And then, like, the clock struck one. I'm sh- I was kind of looking at you, but you didn't really, you weren't paying attention no, it to was the like, time. We walked into the room, like, 30 minutes before, and that's, like, the perfect amount of time for me to, like, not know what time you know what I mean like lose track of time so you really did lose track of time I really did until you said like I got in I was like oh my god it's one (laughs) yeah so I was very much just staring at the clock like watching it tick tick Sammy was just like are you okay like are you okay I was like I'm fine I'm fine and then I opened it I like turned my phone down Uh you weren't watching I wasn't watching you I just you very much had your headphones in like no I did yeah (laughs) Yeah, I I was doing like homework or something yeah like she was like not paying attention Mm -hmm. and then I like turned around I was like oh my god thank god and then I told her and then she was like what she's like (laughs) she's like are you okay yeah I was like oh my god and then and then I like went to go commit I was uh-huh. talking about this with Molly. I went to go like commit and Sammy was like, be careful. You yeah. Sammy was I told like, Kenz, I said, if you have any questions, she was like, about stop. Anything, she was like, wait for, like, wait wait for, for your, your mom. mom. <laughs> like Sammy was very like, 
<laughs> yeah, I was like, this isn't something that you yeah, should be questioning. Sammy was very like, do not like commit right this second. I was like more nervous than her. She's yeah, like, I'm gonna I, commit. I was like, Wait. I like, whipped out the ca- credit card <laughs> to like pay my deposit. Sammy was like, slow down. Like she was very much like, watch what you're doing yeah, right now. Yeah. It was so funny. And then like my sisters like weren't there yet, and she was like waiting. Like I feel yeah. like it was literally just us two. And then. Oh, and then I FaceTimed Loyla. Sammy was with me. Yeah. She, like, kind of didn't have that big of a reaction. But, well, like, she was, like, tired. It was, like, yeah, it was like five, Korea. It was, like, five in the morning, and she just woke up. And then she texted me and was, like, I thought that was a dream. Yeah. Like, isn't that so crazy? Yeah. But basically, Sammy experienced it all with me. But, yeah. So, she basically could be joining me in NYU. But it's yeah, fine. Not anymore. <laughs> but when you, like... Okay, when I opened NYU, I just, like, knew. Like, uh-huh. you know... Did you just, like, know when you opened UCLA? Like, what? That I got in? No, like do you just like like when I opened NYU I knew like that's where I was gonna go did you like have that feeling no I was like too nervous to feel anything really? except like yeah I was literally like, on the verge of tears before even opening it because I was so nervous we were like in rehearsal yeah like that Friday and basically I opened my rejection from UCLA midway through rehearsal uh, everyone around me knew I got rejected and that's why I was like probably not doing as good as like I could have been so yeah it was a tough day for me yeah but like with ucs you don't at least for most of them you don't know when they're gonna come out oh yeah until it comes out that's like a terrible thing yeah there's a lot of predictions and then a lot of people were saying okay march 15th ucla is gonna come out and some people were like no march 22nd yeah we were talking about this we were like is it even gonna come out today yeah so i was like stressing the whole day because i was like if it is coming out then i need to be prepared but if it's not then i'm stressing yeah yeah but like so i didn't know that it came out until Ken's opened hers. My and then rejection. I knew that I had to wait three more hours to open my own. Yeah, because I had three more hours of rehearsal. It, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, Sammy was a lot better at, like, waiting for her mom, like, doing that. I didn't really do that. My mom wasn't with me for anything. <laughs> I more just, like, opened it right then. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like, come home and I'd be like, oh, mom. I got into, like, UCI. And she'd be like, oh. She'd be like, nice. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. What schools are, like... Did you only do one live dance audition? I did two. I did oh UCSB. Yeah, I did UCI and UC Santa Barbara. So we oh, are no three Chapman. Oh Chapman. Yeah. Okay. Sammy and I also both gone to Chapman, and yeah. you were very like, I'd be fine going there for dance. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I would have been fine with going to Chapman because they also like have very doable double major mm-hmm. opportunities. And when we were at the audition, like a lot of the dancers there were saying that they double major, mm-hmm. and I was like, wow, like I think like majority of them did. Mm-hmm. So I was like. That's encouraging because I was like, okay, that's something that I can do if I yeah. choose to go to Chapman. Yeah. What What is the difference between applying to a school for like a, a more academic major and then versus a dance major? Because I only did dance. Yeah. Um, I guess you just have to showcase yourself in like very different ways. Like if you're applying for dance, you want them to see you as an artist mm-hmm. and like somebody who's interested in like... Um, that realm of the arts with yeah. dance and like yeah. potentially like choreographing or like things like that. But yeah. then with academics, it's just like none of that. Like it's just yeah. so like black and white. I feel yeah. like it's such like, there's such like different sides. And that's also why like I wanted to go to a school where I can do both. So it was like, there's certain schools that I did apply just for like biological sciences, but those were definitely not my top choices because I wanted to go somewhere where I can have both parts of my life. Mm. So for the places that I did both, you have to like find a balance of like how to showcase both sides of yourself without seeming too much one way or the other. What would you say like academically or dance, like which applications were harder to do? Mm. Cause like you didn't have to do any pre-screens like pre, Oh, Chapman, but like, did you Chapman like, and like UCLA had oh, like no yeah. live audition. Yeah. Oh yeah. UCLA had no live audition. Which I would is say like that stressful. was, that was the most stressful application. I don't know if it's just cause I wanted to go there. Yeah. Or cause I didn't really actually, feel that much stress because like I, I, I knew that, like, because I wanted to do a dance BFA, like, yeah. that's not the school for me. Yeah. Because it's not, like, like an intense dance BFA program like yeah. NYU. So, like, I just, like, didn't really feel that much stress. Yeah. So, I don't know if it was just because I wanted to go there really bad or if it was actually a gruesome process. But when I turned it in, I literally cried. I was, like, so happy that it was done. Like, that's that how was, I like, felt. me with NYU. Yeah. It was so hard and, like, terrible. Yeah. You know about my NYU experience. It was terrible. Yeah. No, it was great. Like, it wasn't terrible. It was great. But, like, the process of filming it, yeah, stressful. I wouldn't say terrible. I'd say stressful. That was the word I'd be used to describe it. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what would you like rate this like college? Oh my god, college season is over. We should throw a party. No, literally, like it's an so actual rewarding. party should be thrown that yeah. we're like committed to college. Yeah. But what would you rate this experience? There's like good parts about it, like getting like the like validation. Okay, yeah. Like I guess submitting it is what makes it all worth. It. Like you, you feel so proud of yourself. Yeah. But, huh? I don't know yeah definitely See, below a five but, out of ten but now we can just enjoy our senior year like yeah. we have so many like good things coming up like prom is this weekend and then we have our regionals yeah. and then like there's just so many fun things that we have to look forward to like now we can just like enjoy it i feel like yeah no maybe i would give it a five out of ten because i feel like the experience is worse than a five out of ten but it's like worth it in the end yeah. so it's like it's worth something yeah it's so, worth something yeah so what advice would you give to like people who like are either like juniors going into the process or like younger who are gonna have to do it? Well, if you're younger than a junior, I would just say like, it's never too early to start thinking about your application. Yeah. Like, honestly, I wouldn't say like, you don't need to have full blown essays done, but it's never too it's early. It's never too early to think about college. Yeah, like of course you wanna be building your resume when you're younger. And it's like, you're not gonna be able to do it like your summer after junior year. You don't have much time. Yeah. Like, of, of course you can, but it's good if you get started earlier and like have things to put on your resume before then. Yeah. And if you are a junior, get cracking, get cracking. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Yeah. yeah. Like start working. Speaking of building your resume, you were on world of dance. Yeah. What season? Season like three, season three. Wow. I knew that. <laughs> and what was that experience like for you? Um, that was so much fun. Something I'll never forget. Like, uh, I was the oldest in the group, so I was the spokesperson. So like <laughs> I, I Love. talked, I was like doing the interviews and stuff and it was stressful because I had no experience with like yeah. interviewing yeah. and like being put on the spot in front of a camera and like just having to have a filter because you're being watched. Yeah. Like you, it could potentially be aired on yeah. national television. Yeah. But that was super exciting for me because it was kind of like, I never thought to myself when I was younger that it was my dream to be on TV because I didn't even think that was within reach. Yeah. So I think that that coming to life was like really exciting for me. Yeah. And I mean, just being on that stage with, like, people all around the stage. Because it's, like, a circular-shaped stage. Yeah, so there's yeah. people at all angles. That was really exciting. And then also the judges, like, Neo, J-Lo, and Derek Huff. That was very exciting for me. I just... It felt, like, surreal. It's almost like a fever dream that I'm, like... Wow, I can't believe that actually happened. I actually do remember Sammy being on World of Dance because you, like, weren't at school. I missed so much school that she year. She wasn't at school. And yeah. then she'd, like, be... You'd have to do, like, conservatory makeup. Yeah, there were, like, these assignments, and yeah. I remember, like... I remember. Oh, my gosh, yeah, too many of those. Yeah, like, because, like, for our conservatory, it's, like, you get two free absences, but then after that, you get zeros for the day. Yeah. Unless you do an assignment. So she would yeah. have to do all these assignments. Like, yeah. weren't they, like, essays? Yeah, it was, like, you had to answer three questions out of, like, the provided list of questions, and you had to have, like, thoughtful responses, too. And I was, like, this is getting stale because I'm doing it yeah. too many times <laughs> with the same questions. Like, you were, like, I need some new questions. Yeah. That's yeah. literally how I What felt. year was that? Like eighth grade? Seventh grade. Seventh so it was grade. our first year at OSHA. So like you didn't, I didn't get to experience OSHA to its fullest, like your first year. Yeah, no. And I just remember I was like, I was kind of stressed because it was like the first time, or not the first time, because I did middle school and sixth grade yeah. too, but I had to like balance the six classes and like, you know, like coming from elementary school, it's yeah. like you only have like one teacher. It's like very different. But it's like having to email all your teachers yeah. and then keeping yeah. up with all different classes. Yeah. Cause like in seventh grade, you literally have a different teacher for every subject. Yeah. It's like very much. And then you have to keep up with each teacher's policies with yeah. like absence and stuff. So it was like, it was stressful, but I think it taught me a lot. Cause like doing that in literally seventh grade, like yeah. already having that like skill. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy is very on top of emailing teachers. You, you are very on top of it. Like, <laughs> If we, like, miss for a competition, she'll, like, tell us, like, oh, I've emailed my teachers, and Loyla and I are, like, shoot. We're, like, <laughs> we're, like we did not do that, but uh -huh. it's okay. So, from World of Dance, you got to go on the Ellen Show. Yeah. And what was that like? That was also very exciting, because I loved watching the Ellen Show when I, I want to be the next Ellen. Yeah. But the thing is, Ellen was not there. We had a, oh. we had a guest host. We oh. had Jason Sudeikis. He's an actor. And it was still really fun. Like... It was Why didn't you get the episode where she wasn't there? I don't know. That's not fair. Yeah, I don't know. But it was still really fun for all of us because, like, honestly, any opportunity for us yeah. to, like, be dancing together, like, and for it to be aired on TV yeah. was really exciting. Yeah. But that was kind of similar where we had, like, interviews and then... Um, and you had a talk. Yeah, I talked. And then 
we performed one of our dances that we did. I think it was like our first round dance. We performed that one on the Ellen show. And then, yeah, that was kind of it. Just interview and dance. How many rounds did you make it to? Like four world of dance. So there's five rounds and we got to the fourth one. Oh, that's far. Yeah, I know. Were you like, wow? Yeah, I was. After the third round, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you made it to the fourth. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. So you basically made it, you made it to the semifinals. Yeah. Wow. That's far. (laughs) Okay. Now we're going to go into like the viewer questions that I do. Rapid fire. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. They're like really random. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color is probably <laughs> blue or purple. Okay. Yeah. Purple, NYU. Oh, blue, UCLA. UCLA. <laughs> um, what is your favorite food? Like, and then you have to pick a Ooh. restaurant too. Okay. But the two don't have to be correlated. Oh, I actually don't. Oh, my favorite food, I really like Korean barbecue. That's just like something that I've always been, I always loved that growing up. And favorite restaurant? I feel like I have one, but I can't think of it. Okay, what is your favorite solo you've ever competed? Oh, I really like my both my solos this year. Yeah, I feel like really every good. year my favorite solo is the one I'm doing currently. Mm-hmm. Like I really love my Korean Choi solo in one year, and then I love my Maddie Hicks solo, The Silent Word. Like I just they're both really. I good. love everything about them: the costume and the choreography. Yeah. What is your favorite subject in school? Math. Oh my <laughs> god! See, this is where Sammy and I differ so bad. <laughs> Sammy and Katie, Sammy always is helping Katie with, like, math because, like, didn't you, like, have the teacher or something? Yeah, I did. You, you like, she, like, took the class. So, like, yeah. she's, like, helping Katie, and I'm, like, I don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but How I also do you like, like math? I don't, I don't it know. It just all clicks for you. I think it just clicks, and so that that's, like, why I like it. And it does not click for me. Like, I just <laughs> don't get it. I like anatomy, too. Oh. That was also, like, one of my favorite classes I loved ever. anatomy. We had an anatomy the same year, just, like, different yeah. blocks. I think that was one of my favorite classes it was really in all good. of high school yeah she was like a very strict teacher the teacher we had but like she was a good teacher she like she knew what she was talking yeah. about she doesn't even teach class anymore i know that's why i feel bad for the people that have anatomy this year oh because like, i don't, don't think they're getting the same experience yeah they don't get the same experience as we did yeah. yeah the tests were really hard these tests were multiple select yeah what oh my god <laughs> okay our anatomy all or nothing points multiple select basically it's like the multiple (laughs) choice answer could have multiple answers it could not and if you missed one of the multiple choice zero points yeah like if there's four correct answers and you choose three zero points zero points but then if it was like it's like there's two correct answers and like you chose oh my god it was so horrible yeah it was kind of scary oh yeah i hated that what is one choreographer that you've never worked with that you would like want to work with in the future um i want to work with akira uchida mm. because i've only taken his class once and it was at tda so i've never really taken his class in a smaller setting so i would like oh, to do that like in the tda future. senior room yeah oh, and so it was only so once so yeah and i really liked it but i was like it's just like either 45 minutes or an hour that's like yeah. nothing yeah so yeah i would like to work with him you would slay thank you you too who is your favorite singer right now my favorite singer okay wait that's hard because i listen to so many i have so many playlists mm-hmm. and it, i kind of just pick them based on like what I'm feeling for the day so I listen to a lot of I like Lana Del Rey I like Tate McRae I like SZA I like for more chill vibe cigarettes after sex and so you have a wide variety of wide variety oh Coldplay love Coldplay and Bruno Mars I would say those are like my top so you have like a very wide very wide variety music yeah okay what does like a day in the life look like for you Okay. Like, um, let's do a day in the life where, like, you have a lot of schoolwork to do. Okay. Okay. So, wake up, hopefully on time, get ready for school, and then I drive myself to school every day. So, I get to school. My first class is on the seventh floor, so go up to the seventh floor. Me too. And then, I'll say, I'll say blue day schedule. Okay. I have AP Lit, first block, and then I have AP Psych, which I have with Katie, and then they sit at the same table yeah we have all year and then we go to lunch then i have coval block yep. with you and loyla yep. and then after that we have conservatory so we have two classes of dance and then after that it's like rush time gotta rush get to dance. to dance yeah when i tell you we are running yeah we run out of the dance building across the, the street parking lot's kind of far too. it's really far we're running. It actually sometimes the running makes me more tired than the dancing we just did sometimes it does it does for sure it's so hard yeah so we're like running to the car and then I'm trying to get to dance as fast as I can without yeah. being crazy on the road. Yeah. But it's kind of stressful sometimes. It's very stressful. Yeah. And then we go right into class and then 
depending on the day, it might be genre class, it might be technique, it might be combo, and then go to ballet after. And then after that, it's like I go home, eat dinner pretty late because we end pretty late. And then mm, then it's time to get going with my homework. So then I'm doing my homework like pretty late, usually from like like 1030 to whenever. How, usually how, usually it's around one. You stay up until one? Usually, yeah. Like what subject gives you a lot of homework? Mm, okay, recently say- AP Lit. AP Lit's been kind of a lot. Like, I spent hours at the library trying to get stuff done, and it was all one assignment. I've literally still not finished it. That's okay. What is one of your favorite combos that we've done? I love the Tate McRae combos that we did. Like, like I love Greedy and X's. X's. Both of those were really fun. Like, I loved the music, and then I loved the choreography. I, I love, love when, them. like, the music just, like, slays. Yeah. Because then it's, like, so fun to listen to. Yeah. I also so- liked our Ariana Grande one. Oh, that we just did? Yeah. It was good. Really it was really hard. It was really tiring, but Molly I loved thinks it. I was kidding, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> she came out. I was like, you know how I wait before my private? Yeah. She came out and she was like, oh, why aren't you taking level two? And I was uh-huh. like, I'm so tired. Yeah. I was like, I'm so tired. And she was like, no. She was like, I thought it was going to be too easy. No, it was no, hard. No, it was so hard, Molly. Yeah. She it was, was hard. She was like, it's probably because like you had to dance like because we didn't film. Oh, yeah. I mean... Maybe, Maybe, but, like, it was still hard. Yeah, like, it wasn't the most, like, tricky combo. Yeah. But it was, like, it was, like, stamina, yeah. a lot of stamina. I feel like Molly's done a really good job this year giving us a variety with our combos. Yeah. Like, sometimes they're very sure. detail-oriented where you have to, like, think about the details and, like, all that and, like, the musicality. And then sometimes you have to think about, like, technique. Yeah. And then sometimes you have to think about, like, movement quality. And, and like, like, performance. Yeah, performance. Like, it's just, like, I feel like I've learned a lot this year. Yeah. Okay, I actually haven't done this in, like, a couple episodes, but Sammy is a really great person to do this. Pro and con of Ken's. What? No, you have to. <laughs> pro and con of Ken's? Yes. Okay, pro, you're, like, so funny. Like, it's really funny to talk to you. I love talking to you. <clears throat> con? I don't know. Yes, you do. Like, don't even. Well, okay. Sammy is, like, the okay, first I'm, to call me out. All I'm thinking of cons is that time in modern. <laughs> that time oh, in when modern I started location. crying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess you guys con are, is, like, con is, like, I'm... I don't oh know my how god! To, I don't oh know god. how to. I don't, I don't know, know how to help you when you're crying. No. One time we were in Koval Block and I started sobbing, crying in the office. Yeah. Sammy left. You left the room. No, I walked out of the room because I was like, oh my gosh! Like I was like, maybe by the time we come back, she'll be okay. No, I was not okay. Yeah. You, Sammy literally left. No, the and room. then I was, and then I was like peeking through the window. I was like, is she, is she better now? <laughs> like, is she okay? I didn't know, but I was like, I was like, I'll step out for a second. <laughs> she literally left me crying. <laughs> No, but you were by yourself. You had Lila in there, too. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. It's merch time. Oh, <gasps> yes. I've been so excited for this. Wait. Crew neck or hoodie? I'll change Ooh. it after you decide. I think. I think crew neck. Okay. So, basically, we have gray and green. Okay. I love that. And then we have blue and white. Oh. Which one? I think gray and green. The classic. More neutral. I better see you repping this. I will. I'll work to school this week. Okay. Thank you so much, Sammy, for coming on my podcast, finally. And make sure you guys all follow her everywhere because she slays life. Thanks, Ken. And then follow her UCLA journey. You need to make, like, day in the life TikToks. Day in the life TikToks? Is that, like... (laughs) Maybe maybe friends only. (laughs) So you guys can follow her UCLA journey because, yeah, you need to vlog. Okay, I'll ask. And you then for we'll we'll like update you guys because like Loyal and I will Facetime her like in the dorm, and then we'll yeah. put you in the vlog, and you guys can you can give little updates. Okay, to the YouTube. okay. So stay tuned. I'm done for, for that for updates. Perfect. Okay, I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.